pension credit is a top-up benefit that helps those who are of state pension age who are not getting enough income. Right. Now, I've long been saying there are one million state pensioners in the UK eligible for pension credit who do not claim it. And that is an absolute tragedy. They've paid into their system for all of their lives and they're not getting this important top-up. But there's a really crucial note going on right now. Mm. Because while the current cost of living payment, the benefits cost of living payment, if you like, has already started being paid out, and for most people, yes. the eligibility date is over, mm -hmm. pension credit is the one area where you can backdate a claim. So what this means in practice is if you are eligible for pension credit, you will get that £301, and you've got until the 19th of May in order to claim pension credit and get 301 quid. So simply by claiming pension credit, even if you're only entitled to a small amount of it, you would get the 301 pounds. Now, pension credit entitlement is really complicated. I have a rule of thumb, though. OK. So just go with me on this. So I'm going to put it on because I wrote a rhyme. Uh, here we go. You wrote a what? A, a very small rhyme, and I couldn't remember what it was for a second. So if you are single... A yeah. single person of state pension age yes. with total weekly income under £220. Or you are a couple, a state pensioner couple, both of you must be state pensioners, with total weekly income under £320, then do not stall, just call. Do not stall, just call. Do not stall, just yeah. call. And what I mean by that, actually go online, because it's a bit easier, but I couldn't think of a good online rhyme. Okay. So Can you call, though? You can call right. if okay. you can't go online. And the reason for this is many people are like, well, I'm not sure and I don't want to ask for money I'm not entitled to. That won't happen. Online, it's a calculator. If you call up, they will talk you through whether or not you are entitled. Now, my mm -hmm. under 220 and under 320, I am not saying if you're a state pensioner with less income than that, you will get it. Mm. I'm saying if you're a state pensioner with less income than that, you should check. That is the point at which you should check. Now, actually, what happens is it tops your income up to £201 if you're a single pensioner and £306 if you're a couple. But because there are certain areas, so if you've got caring responsibility, if you've got disabilities mm. where you may get a little more, that's why I'm saying £220 or below as a single pensioner, £320 or below as a pensioner couple. If that's you, get online to the pension credit calculator, call them up if you're not happy with doing it online. Don't stall, just call. Or don't bide your time, get online. Well done, Jen and Daniel, <laughs> in the gallery. I'm not going to take credit for that. It's a bit, is it a rhyme or an assonance? But we won't go into that one. Um, <laughs> You're uh, so, an assonance. And, and now, <laughs> how dare you, madam? <laughs> now, um, I, so it's, it's, it's worth all that effort. Of, I mean, of course it is. But, but do you have a long wait to, on, a, on a call helpline that is now going to be clogged up because of the well, Martin Lewis effect? You probably will do this morning. But um, let, let or do you have a very complicated form online no. that's going to fox you? If you're eligible, you're eligible and you should be able to get mm. it. There will be some people... Some people will get in touch with me. It always happens when I say this. Like, I, was, I, have, I get £210. Mm. You told me to call and I didn't mm. get it. I'm not saying you're eligible. No. I'm saying that's your checkpoint. That's the point at which you should check. Okay. And the reason this is so important... Let me just... When you, when you hear this, you, mm. the average payout's three and a half grand a year. Mm. But even if you were only due 50p a year from pension credit, yes. right, first of all, you get the £900 cost of living payment on top. Mm -hmm. And secondly, pension credit is a crucial gateway benefit. It's a superpower, I mm. call it. It gateway benefit. I'll just give you some... You're also, if you're over 75, this, if you've got pension credit, then you get the free TV licence. Mm -hmm. You may be entitled to housing benefit worth thousands, a council tax reduction, all because having pension credit makes you eligible for some of these things. So there are people out there who say, they told me it was only worth 50p, so I didn't... No! If it's only worth 50p, there's the cost of living payment, there's the free TV licence, there's housing benefit. It's a gateway benefit, and I go back to the beginning, and a plea to all of those of you who are under 66, and this isn't relevant for you, one million of our pensioners one million people in our society, including some older people who are vulnerable, are not getting the money they are entitled to, having saved up for it in their lifetimes. We have a national shared collective responsibility to spread the word on this. So if you're watching and you're over 66, check out yourself. If you're watching, you're under 66, but you know someone who's a low-income state pensioner, do it in a polite way, don't be interfering, but why not say to them, 
do you get that pension credit, by the way? I heard Martin Lewis or I heard Good Morning Britain talking about it today. And just do a check and let's try and cut down that one oh, million yeah. people who aren't getting what they're due. Absolutely. Uh, right, we have a couple of questions yes, for you. I'll have some water um, and calm down for a second. Uh, right, Stuart asked in an email about his interest on his savings. Now, I don't... Uh, the wording is strange here. He, after received an inheritance... Yeah. ..and took a reduced pension from my employer, currently £600 a month. OK. He's got approximately £60,000 in various savings accounts that he moves around as rates rise. Good. As he's got a low income and currently doesn't pay income tax, will he have to pay tax on savings interest as it will be over the £1,000 allowance? I think I've got the question. Right. So, currently, if you're a basic rate taxpayer, you're allowed to earn £1,000 of interest each year tax-free, yes. higher rate taxpayer, £500. But you also have... Everybody has £12,570 they can earn of any income a year tax-free. Mm -hmm. And if you're a, on a low income, there's also a thing called the starting savings rate, which gets complicated. I'm not going to dot I's and T's, which means, effectively, if you've only got savings income above that, you can earn £5,000 of interest tax-free mm -hmm. before you go to the £1,000. If your only income is a 700 quid a monthish pension, mm -hmm. then and you've got 60 grand in savings, you won't pay tax on those savings. OK. You won't pay tax, mm -hmm. so you're fine, because you've got all those other allowances you use before the £1,000 allowance. So go and look up the starting savings allowance. Go and have a read of the starting savings allowance. Ash says, is, if there is, is there social help available for broadband for old age pensioners on state pension? She's with Sky and the cost for broadband and mobile is around £69 per month. Yeah. So, we talked about the social tariff last time. Mm. And the social tariff, there are 4 million people in the country who are eligible for social tariff broadband, way less than 10% of them claim that. It's long-term cheap. You're paying 10 to 20 quid a month for around 36 meg broadband. Far, far cheaper. Most of the big providers have it. Now, their eligibility terms depend on the company because they don't have to do this. But you know one of the big criteria? Mm. Pension credit. I thought you were going to say that. Pension credit. So you're asking, if you're a state pensioner, is there automatically help? No. If you're on pension credit, yeah. yes, right. almost all of them give you the social tariff on broadband if you're on pension credit. Now, she said she's on a low income struggling. Did I get that? Did I hear that right? Um, she, she says she's an old age pensioner on a state pension. OK, so if you're entitled to pension credit, then that will likely trigger your access to social tariffs. So absolutely check that out. And for everybody else out there, if you're on universal credit, and in some cases, though, it's rarer, other legacy benefits, check out social tariffs of your broadband provider can be a massive saving. Mm. On Instagram, Charlie asked us about his debt with an energy supplier. He says he's in debt with his energy supplier and petrified that he's not going to catch up. So what can Charlie do? And honestly, it sounds prosaic, but talk to your energy supplier. Tell them the situation. Tell them they should be able to give you stage payments to help you catch up. If you're really struggling on the money, they should be able to work it through with you. This is one of those moments when you should talk to the energy supplier. Mm. They have requirements of how they're supposed to help people. Ask them for help, especially if you happen to be vulnerable for any reason. I don't know if you are, but if you were, uh, then you want to mention that. You get on the priority services register. Remember, what we're talking about today, though, and I'll be doing it around 7.20, I'm going to be running through the energy direct debit cycle, which is doesn't sound particularly interesting, but basically there are millions of people, millions of you out there, in, amongst the 65% of people who pay by direct debit, who are entitled to hundreds of pounds of money back. And this, this week, is literally the perfect time in the year to do it. It's complicated why I'll be explaining all that, but if you pay by energy direct debit, do not miss that. Coming around 7.20.